What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another classic Tekken 8 video. As y'all all know, the Tekken 8 beta has just ended. And we got a lot of shit we got to talk about when it comes to the Tekken 8 beta. There's also something else I want to talk about when it comes to Azazina. Uh, but first of all, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy uh, Lucky Caster for giving me a code to play the Tekken 8 beta. Because y'all know I didn't get a code. But uh, my homeboy, loyal subscriber, Lucky Caster, he gave me a code, even though for some strange reason, I couldn't use the code on my account. So I had to use another friend's account. I had to use another friend's uh, PS5 um, to play the game. But it is cool. I was able to play it. I was able to get some reps in. And that's one of the reasons why I'm able to do a video like this today. Now, the thing about it is I wasn't able to record a lot of footage because it wasn't my account. It wasn't my PS5. So it was hard for me to get footage. So I really couldn't do that. So and I ain't going to trip off of that because it ain't no big deal. I'm just on here basically just giving my thoughts on what I feel about the beta. And after all, it is a beta. So when it comes out in January, a lot of this shit that I'm probably going to say is probably going to get changed anyway. So it's really unnecessary for some gameplay footage to kind of back up what I'm saying because it's going to get changed. One thing I want to start with, I want to start with this whole thing with Azuzina, this controversy that's going on with Azuzina. Um, so really right now, Azuzina is kind of being seen as the character killer or the RIP character. The reason that I say that is, is because for the last couple of months, this is what people have been talking about when it comes to Azuzina is that she has so many moves of characters that are currently not in the base roster or not in the game. Now, uh, on Twitter, there's this high profile content creator called High Buff Gigas, and he made a video showing all of the moves that Azuzina has from characters that are currently not in the base roster. Characters such as Miguel, characters such as Eddie, Bruce Irvin, Josie, Bob, and, and so and so. And of course, you know, the Tekken community is, you know, motherfuckers is ready to have a heart attack when they saw this video that he made. And they already on this RIP bullshit. And it's really, really pissing me the fuck off. It's annoying, it's frustrating, and it's irritating. So I want to talk about that first. And I hope a lot of people hear this shit. And I want a lot of people to calm the fuck down when it comes to a character like Azuzina. Now here's the thing. The video that High Buff Giga show, okay, yes, it's true in every way. She has a lot of moves that other characters have, including Eddie. And... People are like, okay, R.I.P. Eddie, R.I.P. Miguel, R.I.P. Bruce. Hold y'all fucking horses. Let me debunk this, okay? I'm about to debunk this whole fucking situation. Because people are just talking about what Azuzina has with the characters they don't see. And they're not paying attention to what she has with characters that are still in the game. And for those of y'all that have played the beta, and I'm going to say right now, Azuzina was probably the most played character in that beta. So for those of y'all that have seen what Azuzina can do, y'all can back me up on this. Now, all of those moves that High Buff Giga showed in that video are right. She does have Eddie's back up three. She has some that, that shit that Miguel does. I ain't trying to go through that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But here's something else that she also has with characters that are currently in the game. She also has Dragonoff's low leg throw. Dragonoff is still in the game. Now, I don't know if they're going to change that when it comes to Dragonoff, but Dragonoff is still in the game. She also has Brian Fury's power strike. Brian Fury is still in the game. Not only that, Kazuya has the similar moves. So if y'all were uh, using Azuzina and y'all went up against Kazuya, y'all can kind of see the, the power strikes moves are similar. It's the same as Brian Fury and it's the same as Kazuya. Azuzina has it also. So that's right there. That's two. Yeah, that's two characters that have the same move that Azuzina has it also. Now, I don't know if her move is a power crush move because I know Kazuya's and Brian's, their moves are power crush moves. I don't know if Azuzina's is a power crush move. I think it is. Somebody can correct me in the com comment section if it is. But she has that move. She also has Shaheen's flip kick move. Isn't Shaheen in the game? Yes. And I'm pretty sure... Shaheen is going to have that flip kick. And for those of y'all that have used Azuzina, y'all know that that flip kick comes from Shaheen. 
And the reason that y'all know that is, is because that's the only good move Shaheen sorry ass has. And I know Shaheen is going to have that move when he gets put in the base roster. Well, he's already in the base roster, but you know when the game comes out. Shaheen going to have that same flip kick move. That move comes straight from Shaheen and Azuzina has it. So people just need to calm down with this whole R.I.P. shit just because they see a character use a move that they, a past character has. Azuzina also has moves from characters that are currently in the game. As a matter of fact, I think she even has Leo's Keep Out Launcher Uppercut. It kind of looked like she do. But... I might be wrong on that. It it just looks very similar. So Azuzina is kind of like that Mokujin type character. And to be quite honest with you, even though I like Azuzina, she's a character that she, from a gameplay standpoint, she does not have no originality because of this. And this is coming from a player that plays Virtua Fighter. And there's a character over there that is the same as Azuzina. And her name is Vanessa Lewis. Vanessa Lewis has everybody's signature move in the game. All of the other characters, Vanessa has their moves. So people just need to calm down with this R.I.P. shit whenever they see a character, see another character have uh, have the same moves. That shit is just really just pissing me off. And like I said, people that use Azuzina, the flip kick, Shaheen, Dragonoff's low leg throw, Azuzina has it. So and those characters are still in the game. So that whole thing about the R.I.P. shit, people just need to calm the hell down. It is not like that. That's not how it works. It is not the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? These characters still might show up. So that's what I wanted to say with this whole shit with Azuzina because I was just getting so annoyed and people just being just about to have heart attacks because of this shit. That don't mean nothing just because she got another character's moves. It don't. And I'm going to tell you why people are thinking this. They're thinking this because of Fakum Rom. Fakum Rom started this whole shit because when he came out for Tekken 7, that's when this whole RIP shit started. Oh, RIP Bruce Irvin, this, that, and this, and that. No, it don't work like that. It don't. As y'all can see, Fakum Rom is not in the game, and pretty much I don't think he's going to return, and he shouldn't. Fuck him. But it, it, it's no RIP thing. It's not. So I'm just going to move on, and I'm going to talk about... Uh, the Tekken 8 beta, I'm just going to talk about what I've experienced. This is just coming from me, my opinion, what I've experienced and whatever. And like I said before, this shit probably going to be changed when the game comes out or if they bring out another beta. So, you know, for people that come in my comment section on that bullshit, just remember, it's just a beta. It's just my opinion and what I've experienced. And even if my shit is facts, don't take it to the fucking heart. You feel what I'm saying? So we all know uh, Tekken 8 is going to be a great game. Uh, you know, it's a game that is perfectly crafted. Um, but I am going to start with some things that I've kind of noticed while playing the beta. Uh, like I said, this is just from what I've experienced, my opinion so far. And even if they're facts, you know, just don't take this shit to heart. But there is a couple of things that I have noticed when it comes to characters and the gameplay. So I'm going to start off with the characters. And I'm going to start off with Uncle Leroy. Um, Now I've been saying for the longest. If Eddie Gordo does not show up in the base roster or whatever. Leroy was going to be my absolutely main. Uh, I did play with Leroy for a bit. I played with a lot of characters because it's a beta. But I did play with Leroy for a bit. And uh, like I said I did a video on how I was excited for Leroy's direction as far as story and all of that. But when it comes to his gameplay with Leroy, I was somewhat disappointed. And this is really hurting me to say this because y'all know how I feel about Uncle Leroy. But I was extremely disappointed with his gameplay. The reason why I'm saying this is because he is practically, I'm just literally saying practically, he was glued in Tekken 8 from Tekken 7. It's like they they basically Paul Phoenixed him. You know, Paul Phoenix, they just recycle Paul Phoenix over and over and over again. They did the exact same thing with Leroy here. Now, y'all probably like, well, Demetrius, isn't this what you want? Isn't this, uh, you know, the same character doing the same moves? No. I want my characters to return, but I want them improved to the point where they're not going to get nerfed like a motherfucker. And that's my concern when it comes to Leroy. He's going to get nerfed again. They're going to go on another nerf campaign with him. That They practically glued him. And so for those of y'all that main Leroy, 
expect the nerf campaign to continue. It is going to continue. And like I said, he was practically glued. There was really no difference. And that's another issue because when it comes to Tekken 8, the heat system, it's useless to Leroy. Leroy has no real reason to use the heat system. Now, if y'all come up against a Leroy player, y'all would notice that the Leroy player did not use the heat system. It's useless with Leroy. It's useless. Straight useless. There is no reason for Leroy to use this heat system. Period. What reason does Leroy have to use this? Straight useless. And I'm going to get to the heat system in a minute. But when it comes to Leroy, it's just useless. The combination, useless. There's no need for Leroy to use this. And it does not work for Leroy on the opposite side. It just doesn't. Le just, there's just no purpose in Leroy using this system. And like I said, Leroy is going to get nerfed like crazy. They're, they're setting it up. I already know. And it's going to be disappointing. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, with Leroy, that's the issue that I'm already seeing. And I just want to go out and say, like, look, like I said, it hurts me when I say this. But Le Leroy just, Leroy doesn't fit what's going on in Tekken 8. He doesn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And this is, a, I main Leroy. And I'm sitting here saying it. Leroy does not fit with what's going on with Tekken 8. Leroy could have been DLC. He could have been DLC. I'm, I'm telling y'all that right now. You know, I'm damn near just, I'm damn near getting glassed eyed by this, but I got to be all the way real with y'all. And this is constructive criticism. I don't just bash other people characters. I'm criticizing my, criticizing my own right now. Leroy does not fit what's going on with Tekken 8. I said that about Asuka. She doesn't fit. And I'm going to get to her in a minute. But Leroy don't fit either. I'm just being dead honest. He does not fit with what's going on in Tekken 8. Now, the other two characters that I've noticed, uh, Warong and Asuka, I'm going to sit here and say Warong is once again the worst character in the game. The reason that I say that is, is when he activates heat, you are going to be blocking all fucking day and he's going to chip you out. And if you press a button, you're going to get comboed for big damage. You're going to get carried and there's going to be some fucking bullshit going on. Warong is the absolute worst character in the game. And I'm so sick of Namco making this character so fling, slingshot, fling flammy like this. I'm sick of it, especially now because I don't have my main character. It's, it's, it's tougher for me to deal with. Warong is pathetic in this game. He's straight pathetic. When he acts to make that heat system, it's bullshit. You're going to be blocking the whole fucking time and not going to be able to do shit. You ain't going to be doing nothing, period. Asuka is the same fucking way. When these two characters activate heat, that's it. That's it. You are going to be blocking. You're going to get chipped out. You're going to be blocking the whole fucking time. Namco needs to fix this shit and stop treating these characters with fucking bias. What the fuck you put Jun back in the game when you make Asuka overpowered in heat like that? What's the point? Come on, people. What's the point? I love the fact that Jun is in the game, but what's the point? You giving Asuka all this bullshit. It don't, it, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So right there, Warong and Asuka are the two worst characters in the fucking game. They broken as fuck. You know? There's a, other, there's a lot of other characters that are broken too, but Warong, Asuka, and like I said, I thought Fang was going to be broken. They actually did a pretty good job with Fang. I think Fang is going to be kind of cool, but we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to see what kind of person that uses Fang and how they utilize him. But, you know, I thought Fang was going to be real broken when it came to the heat system, but Fang is kind of cool. Uh, he He's more easier to deal with than Warong. The shit with Warong, man. It's just complete bullshit. It's just complete bullshit. The combo carrying this character, once again, they crafted him with bias. It just don't, it absolutely makes no fucking sense what they do with this character. It absolutely don't. It's just, oh God, it, it, it just, man, you know, and like I said before, I was using various characters. I was using characters like Leroy. I was using King. I used Azuzina. It don't matter with Waron. This character activates heat. You're going to be blocking you're going to be blocking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm just still not. 
I'm I'm still not psychologically there yet when it comes to heat activation. So there was some times that I could have activate heat and then I just didn't because I'm just psychologically not there yet. So maybe there was times I could have activated heat and stopped all of that. So y'all gotta be y'all gotta bear with me. I'm just psychologically not there yet. But like I said, I hope that shit gets changed when the game comes out. Warong and Asuka, they trash characters. Literally trash characters. I've been saying ever since Tekken 7 was running, Warong is the worst character in the game in Tekken 7. He is currently the worst character in the game in Tekken 8. Period. Straight facts. So, I'm going to move on from that. So, that's really, every, all of the other characters are really good. You know, like I said, Fang is good. Uh, even Paul Phoenix, to a certain extent, it was cool. And y'all know how much I hate Paul Phoenix. So, all those other characters were pretty cool. But Warong and Asuka, I'm, ugh. Man, they, they stink. They trash. So we're going to go on to the gameplay. Now, everybody, you know, everybody, the, the entire community has spoken. Nobody likes the heat system. I don't know what they can do uh, to to change the heat system to satisfy people. Because, you know, historically, I don't remember any uh, developer actually taking an entire system out of the game i just don't see it happening it's kind of like with the street fighter 5 v trigger people hated that shit capcom kept it in so i don't know what they can really do about it but i do know the heat system is just it this this shit just ain't where it's at i, I don't know what namco was thinking i'm just it kind of seemed like they were just jotting shit down on paper and, and like okay this looks good let's try it you know, I don't like the fact that I'll be telling people, I don't like the fact how when you activate the shit, the game freezes and then, you know, the characters do that stupid ass dash. It just don't even look right. It looks very comic booky. I, I don't like it. It's just really stupid. Now, one of the things like they need to get that little dash out of the way when people activate the heat. That's dumb. We don't we don't need that in the game. It just looks real stupid. Another thing that I want to say about the heat system, like even though the community has spoken and they don't like it, I really do um, want to experiment something with the heat system. See, I wasn't able to do that with this beta, but like when the original game comes out, I want to experiment if like with various characters, can you be successful without using this shit at all? Like I just said earlier, Leroy don't need it. But I just want to know what other character can you literally can just ditch the whole thing and be successful with. Like, you know, play Tekken 7 style. You know what I'm saying? Can you play true Tekken without all of this shit? You feel what I'm saying? That's what I really want to find out. I wasn't able to find out with this beta. But when the original game does come out, that's going to be my ultimate experiment right there. Can you be successful without using this system at all? Cause like I, I'm I'm not a fan of it psychologically nor physically, but I do believe that there's ways around this. I do believe like you know you can literally just be successful without it. Now, um, there's also a couple of other things that I noticed with a lot of certain moves in the game, uh, kind of like with the hell sweeps. Now I don't know if anybody has noticed this, but I don't know if it's. Uh, the game just being slower, Tekken 8 being slower than Tekken 7, in my opinion. Tekken 8 is a little bit slower than Tekken 7. I don't know if it's slower gameplay or uh, did they nerf the hell sweeps. But the hell sweeps, for some strange reason, are very much easier to deal with in Tekken 8. And what I'm saying is I was literally catching hell sweeps like crazy it was just like wow I, I can't believe it you know what i'm saying uh primarily jen and kazuya now other other characters have lows hell sweep type of lows but i'm really just talking about jen and kazuya um their hell sweeps i don't know if they were nerfed but i was catching them motherfuckers and like i said if this uh if this is kind of how it's gonna be as far as the game speed or even if they did nerf the hell sweeps, I don't know which one they did. When the original version comes out, um, I'm talk. I'm 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 gonna say when it comes to gen players, gen players are gonna have to change up because if it's gonna continue to be that way, that hell sweep is gonna get caught. I'm telling you because I noticed when I came up a couple of gen players, they tried to use that 
hell sweep that he has as a, a get up game tactic, meaning you try to get up, go ahead and, you know, do it before we even get up to get us and all of that shit. It did not work in Tekken 8. I was catching that every single time. Every single time I was catching it when a gen player did it. Now, with when it comes to Kazuya, I was catching it also, but I think it was it's more devastating when Jin gets caught with it. Even though they both get, you know, they're gonna get punished. But I think with Jin, a Jin player is gonna use that as a like a, a, a cheap comeback tactic. And I was catching that shit. So I don't know if it, they nerfed it or if it's just game speed all in all in general. But Jin players. Uh, that Tekken 7 tactic that y'all was using, it's not going to work in Tekken 8. So I was catching that shit. And like I said, other players, you know, were probably catching it too. I was just like, wow, I can't believe I'm catching all of these hell sweeps. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to go back to the heat system and what I was saying. Um, one thing I want to say with this heat system also, like, like it's just like what Arslan Ash said. It's so complicated. I think the best thing to do when it comes to the heat system, because you got this, this heat, this heat, that heat, aggression, heat, whatever. Just pick one of these heat systems. I would just pick one, try to get better at one. And then when you get better at one, go ahead and tackle the other. I wouldn't try to do it all at once because it's very complicated. So I would just pick a heat, uh, Pick whatever heat move that y'all like out of the other and just try to get better with that. Or just stick with one or something like that because the shit is complicated. It's really it's really unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? And to be quite honest with you, it doesn't evolve the game. I really don't think it evolves the game as far as anything, honestly. I think if they did take the heat system out, Tekken 8 would be just as fine. As a matter of fact, it would be better because, you know, everybody's saying, well, it, it plays exactly like Tekken 7. That's exactly how I wanted to play it because Tekken 7, as of right now, is still the best Tekken game ever created. And what's the point of fixing something that wasn't broken? So, yeah, like I said, but now they're not going to take the heat system out. But like I said, it's a work in progress and we're just going to have to see what they do with it. Um, But my advice to people that are kind of. You know, being kind of complicated with it, just stick with one. Whatever heat, whatever heat move it is, just stick with one. Try to get better at that one, and you know, take it from there. And also, um, you know, I'm just want to talk about the avatars that they got in Tekken Eight. Um, like I said, you know, the avatars are for the for the lobbies in the arcade quest mode. Uh, like I said, like the arcade quest mode is going to be a mode. I don't know. I'm not going to really be all that into it, but, you know, not to say that I'm just going to like peep it out and check it out. But uh, the avatars are pretty cool. Uh, the fact that they went the avatar route, I don't really have a problem with that, even though I kind of like, you know, the character, the actual character customization, kind of like what they did in Street Fighter Six. Uh, I would have preferred that. But, you know, they chose the avatar route, which is cool, you know. It actually brings back some Xbox 360 memories. You feel what I'm saying? And kind of took it a little bit further because like for the Xbox 360, you know, your avatars didn't really move like that. So to see them in motion like that is pretty cool. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, that's all I really got. Like this is this is this was not a bash video. Like I said, Tekken 8 plays great. It looks great. And like I said, it's going to be a great game when it comes out. It's just, you know. My whole thing is, it's just, you know, we still waiting on some characters. We still waiting to see what's going to happen with the base roster and shit like that. But, you know, for the most part, everything is cool, except for the heat system, which is basically everybody's problem right now. It's just people just ain't feeling it. But other than that, it was just some things I just wanted to talk about that I seen and pointed out. And I just feel like I just had to share whether people noticed it or not. But like I said, quick recap. Uh, Warong and Asuka are terrible and pathetic. Oh, my God. Uh, expect some boycotts when it comes to Warong, really. Because uh, that character, I'm telling you, that is just ridiculous. They need to do something with that character. It's just too much. It's a, He's a blind character. 
you know, a war on. You could just pick up that character, close your eyes, mash buttons, and just, you open your eyes up. You probably gonna get two perfects in a row. It's, it's just, it's just really stupid. It's just really stupid. It's trash. It's lazy. They need to do something with War on. It's just, it's just not. It's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. What they doing with this character? Unacceptable. Why not fucking make him a Mishima? Uh, for real. But other than that, like I said, I covered the Azuzina situation. People need to calm down with that. That does not mean the characters are gone. They just made a, a they just made a character with no originality. That's all they did. And, and ain't nothing wrong with that, but still. That doesn't mean characters are killed off because of that. But uh let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. If y'all was able to play the beta, uh let me just know y'all experiences, what y'all like and what y'all didn't like. Leave it in the comment section. We can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 action on the internet, period. As I keep saying before, ain't nobody doing it like me when it comes to this Tekken shit, and that's facts. I will get back at you in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. Stay tuned for more content. I am out. Peace.